Hey guys, it's Claire, and today I'm going to be making a type of video that I last made like two years ago, so literally when I was 14. I'm going to be talking about what I do in terms of hair care, as obviously I have curly hair, but now also my hair is dyed. A lot of it is the same, but also some things have changed, including like how often I wash my hair because now I'm sick and it's harder to wash my hair, and so that's obviously affected what I do. New products have come out since then, so yeah, let's get into it. So let's go back to this morning before I wash my hair. Um, a lot of things have changed, it's obviously been two years, but I still sleep with my hair in a bun, albeit this bun is messier. The other thing that has changed in terms of just how I sleep in terms of protecting my hair is now I have like a silk pillowcase, because if you sleep on either silk or satin, like cotton absorbs moisture from your hair, and silk and satin don't. So they're better for your hair on skin. Now I wash my hair like twice a week, typically. Yeah, every other time I use this, which is Olaplex Step 3, which basically you, uh, you use if you have color treated hair. My hair had to be bleached before it was colored. So I just went and I dampened my hair. And now I'm going to use some of this. And I normally use just about that much. And I focus on the part of my hair that is color treated. So in my case, that is the ends of my hair. So I focus it on the ends, and then I'm just going to leave this in for probably 15 minutes before I go and shower. So I'm going to go and do that, and I'll come and show you what I do after that. Okay, so now I've obviously showered, and the first thing that I did when I was in the shower was I used my shampoo. I used a co-wash. This is Diva Curls No Poo. It's what I use. I basically just use this on my scalp. I don't pull it down um, anywhere else into my hair. It's solely on my scalp. The next thing I use is also a co-wash. I just like using this on my scalp because it has, I think, mint in it or eucalyptus and it makes my hair feel really clean without stripping it of natural oils, so that is good. And as I mentioned, the next thing I use is also a co-wash. Everything else that I use from now on is Brio Geo. So the first thing that I use is Brio Geo's Be Gentle, Be Kind, Avocado and Quinoa Co-wash. This I use to detangle my hair and also to like cleanse my hair. So I put it all throughout my hair. I use quite a bit of this and I probably spend like 10, 15 minutes detangling it, my hair with this in it. And it really helps. My hair gets super tangled and this product's great at helping detangle it. And it also just feels very conditioning. It has a lot of glide. So I really, really enjoy this product. The next thing I use, I know that I definitely used back then as well, because this was the first product I tried from the brand. It's Brio Geo's Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I really like this product. I leave it in for probably at least five minutes and I detangle my hair as well with this in it. Sometimes I leave it in for longer. I love this stuff. It's great. Last time I made a video, I think I use it like once a week or twice a week. Now I just wash my hair twice a week, so I use it both times unless my hair is really not tangled and I'm like short on time in which case I won't use it but I typically will. I just use like a very generous amount of this and I coat my hair in it and I comb through my hair with it in. I just finger comb. I don't use an actual brush or comb on my hair ever. So obviously in between all those steps I rinse out my hair but the next step I do not rinse out. I'm talking about just rinsing my hair out. When I first got my hair dyed I only rinsed my hair with cold water because I wanted the color to stick but it's been since November that I've dyed my hair and it's still super bright. So at this point, I've just given up and I'll normally just wash my hair with warm water or like hot water. I don't really care. The last time I rinsed my hair though, I tend to use cold water because cold water closes the follicle and is hence going to make your hair frizz less. So I rinse my hair with cold water. I don't squeeze out any of the water. And I then put in Brio Geo's Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Shea Curl Defining Conditioner. <laughs> that is a really long name, but I use like maybe a quarter sized amount of this and I shove it into my hair while my hair is still soaking wet. And then I get out of the shower and I do the next step. So the first thing I do is I flip my hair over and I start squeezing out the excess water and the excess like conditioner. As a towel, I use a cotton towel. You can also use a t-shirt, but you do not want to use a normal towel on your hair if you have curly hair, as it will cause your hair to frizz. So I use a cotton towel, I flip my hair over, and I just start scrunching it like upwards in an upwards motion and that really helps to find your curls and so I do that for a bit before I put in product and the two products that I use in my hair are the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream and I use more of this and I use just a tiny bit of the Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel and I just throw this in my hair I mix it together and I scrunch my hair until I'm happy with how my hair looks in terms of volume on the top of my hair and curls throughout my hair 
and I do that both with my hands and with the towel. And then on days that I do not wash my hair, I'll just throw in the Curl Charisma um, Leave-In Defining Cream by itself, and I'll wet my hair a little bit, and I'll throw this in it, and that helps like revive my hair and make my hair look a little bit better if I've not washed my hair in a couple of days. That is pretty much my hair care routine at the moment. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've never seen my channel before, I make videos occasionally about sort of beauty stuff, occasionally just about my life, occasionally about medicine. This is a IV pole. Um, I have chronic Lyme and Marinella, so I make videos about that and about having a pick line. I might have a port soon. Occasionally I'll make videos about veganism. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that sort of stuff, subscribe. And until next time, bye!